Hello, and welcome back to Remembering How to Heal. I'm Shauna. This week, we're going to look at self-massage for self-love and care. It is so important to take time out of your busy schedule for self-care. Self-care can look like so many different things, but today we're going to look at um, hand and foot massage for self-care. Very simple, easy techniques to use. So I want you to go ahead and start by getting your favorite um, lotion or oil out. Today I'm using, I'm not using avocado oil, I'm using olive oil with um, rosemary essential oil. So rosemary is great for your muscles. It helps relieve tension and stress. I always suggest using rosemary when working with your muscles. Um, as an oil, avocado oil or jojoba oil are much better for your skin than olive oil. Olive oil is not bad by any means, but avocado and jojoba are going to give you um, more qualities that are good for your skin than olive oil does. So we're going to start by looking at our hands. So go ahead and just take some of your oil and rub it into your hands, really massaging, kind of squeezing, getting those fingers. And when I do that, I kind of squeeze my fingers together. And I like to use my thumbs a lot. So um, I start using my thumb and I just, you know, support the back of my hand and just start rubbing the palm of your hand. Just really get in there rubbing it. You can rub in between your bones. That feels really good. Getting all the muscles in between there. Going up into your finger pads, getting in between and on the side of your hand, really getting the, the muscle on the side of your hand here. I use my little pincher fingers here to get both sides. Kind of just go up and down both sides here. So I'm squeezing from either side. Use your thumb and go up the side. Now if using your thumb is too much, it gets tired, it's tight, you can use your knuckles. So I would place your hand down and just use your knuckles and get in there. Just really get some pressure in there. Get those fingers. Our fingers need love. You know, we really don't give um, our hands enough credit for how much they do for us every day, all the time. They're constantly working for us. And I really want you to get this muscle below your thumb. It's called your thenar eminence. And really get some pressure in there with your thumb or your knuckles, whatever is most comfortable for you. You can even stop where you feel a little, oh, that's tight, or that hurts. You can stop and give it a little bit of pressure. And I'm doing pressure from the other side as well. I have a finger on the opposite side squeezing also. So just really, you know, and then just slowly rubbing up and on the sides. Again, got the pincher fingers going on both sides here. All right. Now for those of you into reflexology, as you're massaging your thenar eminence, you're massaging your kidneys, your adrenal glands, your liver. <laughs> so um, I'll include links at the um, bottom of my video on some um, reflexology charts. So you have it and you can kind of refer to it. It's kind of fun. So make sure you get your fingers. Now here, I'm just kind of doing my pincher fingers again and squeezing up. You can put it in between your thumb if that's easier. And I squeeze all the way down. Just really squeeze your fingers. It feels really good, believe it or not. So squeezing your fingers, squeezing your fingers. You can even just like rub the tips of them. Sometimes that feels so nice. Don't forget that thumb. And then of course there's the front of your hand, getting in between those bones and in between your knuckles, really getting in there. This is another great avenue for getting into that thenar eminence. Just really getting in between all those bones. All right, and do both hands of course. Um, another option if that's too much, get a tennis ball. A tennis ball is great for massaging your entire body really. Um, I have a lacrosse ball today. I like my pressure a little more firm, so tennis balls give too much, but this could be a tennis ball also. You can set it on a firm surface. You don't want to set this on your body, it will hurt. And just really rub your hand around and through, all around. It's a little slippery with my oil here. This is best done without oil. <laughs> but really, you can you know, apply as much pressure as you want pushing into the ball to get all those areas for you. All right, so we've looked a little bit at the hand. Let's look at the feet. So same deal. I'm going to rub your oil into your feet. Um, for reaching your feet, sometimes this can be really difficult. Um, sometimes it looks like this. You know, you're going to be going like this. 
Other times, um, when you're sitting, you can sit with your legs open or however, you know, and go from here. You know, sitting on your bed, that's probably the most comfortable place, maybe in a chair. Um, so, just really get the oil all over your feet. Get those ankles a little bit. And rubbing your foot as you're rubbing it in. So, we're gonna start by doing what I like to call the windshield, the windshield wipers. We're just going like this, wiping the windshield, wiping the windshield. So, going up your foot, up the center of your foot here. And we're just gonna clean that windshield. We're gonna wipe it, wipe it. And it feels really nice getting all that juicy stuff in the middle there. It can be some really tight points in the center of your feet here. Really using those windshield wipers, wiping, wiping. Now going up the middle of your feet, you're massaging your small intestines, your kidneys, making your way up to the pads of your feet here. Here you're massaging your chest and your lungs. So here really spreading feels delicious. Really try to spread that out. And I apply pressure with the back of my hand into the back of my foot here. So I'm pushing and then I'm spreading with my thumbs. Push here, spread with the thumbs. And then where your little toes connect to the pads of your feet, really get in there. And I like to go down and out. So I pull down and out, right in here. And that feels really juicy. <laughs> so really getting in there, getting in there. You can do the same thing going in between your bones. It's a little harder to feel the pads of your feet, but it's doable. Going up the toes, oh gosh, really rub those toes. Just do little circles, little circles, little circles. Just doing little circles like this. Circle, 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 circle. Up my toes, circle, circle, circle. You could do the pole thing again. It's not as easy for me doing it this way, but in between your fingers maybe. Really, really just getting in there. Giving every toe love. Um, yeah, this is a really great self-love here. I'm gonna work my way back down. So I have this outside here, this outside muscle. Oh, it can be so tight and stiff in here. Really, I'm just, I'm doing this right here. And I'm going up and down on both sides of it. Really going up and down. I'm putting more pressure on my thumb. And in order to get more pressure, I'm holding tightly with my opposite hand. So I'm holding tight and I'm pushing into my foot. I'm pushing into my foot. Now don't hurt your fingers or your thumb. You don't wanna create a lot of tension in your hands. Um, I'll show you how to use the tennis ball or the lacrosse ball. <laughs> Try a tennis ball first um, for foot massage. Really get in those areas. And then don't forget the heel. Oh my gosh, don't forget the heel of your foot. Here I like to do um, circles. You can also do the, your knuckles again. Knuckles is great. This is really great here. Doing knuckles all the way up feels really good. Really good here. And then I really want you where your Achilles, where's a good angle here, your Achilles. We're doing the, you know, crab hands, pinch your fingers again, and we're just going up. Oh my gosh, up and down, up and down on either side of your Achilles tendon here. Up and down, really squeezing, squeezing. You can come down and around the sides of your heel and then back up, back up and down and around the sides of your heel. All right, so there's some tips there. Really giving some love. Don't forget the tops. Tops. There's still muscles up there. It may feel thin, but there's stuff there. So go ahead and get in between all those little bones, all your ligaments. Get in between there. If you want to get around your ankles, go around your ankle bones. Just do circles around your ankle bones. Circle. Circle. Circle around the ankle bone. Circle around the ankle bone. <laughs> all right. Now, your tennis ball or lacrosse ball. This is best done standing up. I would stand up and hold onto a chair or a table and um, just really rub the bottom of your foot. This feels so amazing, especially when you're standing and you can control the amount of pressure that you're putting on your foot. This feels amazing. So I highly suggest in um, getting yourself a tennis ball, working on your hands and feet, and just spending a little extra time this week on self-care. Whether or not you want to do hand and foot massage, spend a little bit of time giving yourself that extra self-care that you need. Thank you so much for joining me this week. 
I hope that this video was useful. Um, like I already said, I'm going to attach some notes on um, reflexology, just a couple charts of hand and foot reflexology to give you some fun things to work with when you feel knots. Um, and that's it. So um, follow me on Facebook or Twitter via Sage River Healing, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much.